dreams pulled apart. Houses branded as security risks are razed to the ground by Israeli military engineers. The operation starts in the early hours of Monday morning as Israeli security forces push their way into the house which Ishmael Obedia built and where he lived with his wife, his six children and his parents. They didn't just destroy my house, they destroyed my dreams, they destroyed a family and a life. Israeli authorities say some homes built close to the separation fence, which runs through the occupied East Jerusalem suburb of Wadi Homos, are a security risk and have to be destroyed, even though the Palestinian owners have been given permission to build here. This all centers on a rule that was introduced by the Israeli military about eight years ago. Under that rule, they said that nothing could be built within 250 meters of the separation fence here. The separation fence runs up the side of the road. Now, the Palestinian Authority is in administrative charge of this neighborhood. It said it would give permission for these buildings to be constructed, but the Israelis said that was wrong and they had to come down. After several years of appeals, Israel's High Court finally ruled that the demolitions would not be halted. It said the owners had been given enough time to comply with the law and to tear down their own homes. These houses are permitted by the Palestinian Ministry of Local Government. Now the permits are being violated by the Israeli occupation forces. This military doesn't care about international law or human law and doesn't respect or care about any human ethics. Activist groups and the Palestinian Authority say they're worried a precedent is being set. They say Israeli authorities could use the military rule to demolish more Palestinian homes. We didn't know we had to be 250 metres away. If I knew, I wouldn't have built it here. Why should I? I built the house of my future, the house of my dreams. I didn't build it to have it demolished. Under Israeli law, owners like Ishmael, who refuse to tear down their homes, have to pay the cost of Israeli engineers destroying them instead. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera, Wadi Homus.